the aftermath of the arson attack which took two lives and shattered many others. Inside the house was Abdullah Mohammed and his family. He and his wife Aisha were killed. His 14-year-old daughter and 9-year-old son miraculously survived but still carry physical and mental scars. Hizamuddin Ibrahim arranged the attack, his intended target a man who was having an affair with his married sister. His friend Habib Iqbal then recruited two more men, Mohammed and Sadek Mir. They drove from London to Blackburn with murder in mind. Police say they have only one word to describe them. Evil, I think, is one simple word to describe them. They've travelled, three of them travelled 250 miles to carry out a premeditated and well-planned attack. They bought the petrol down in London. They travelled all that distance knowing full well that their sole intention was to kill and tragically and, and drastically, you know, they did kill two people. Private CCTV cameras captured the men as they returned to their car after setting fire to the wrong house. This, along with the automatic number plate recognition system, brought them to justice. Today the sentencing judge said these were shocking and terrible murders. Two persons died, but for the speedy response of the emergency services, it may well have been four or more. It's a most cruel irony that two such devout members of the community, both deeply religious, should have lost their lives to such a perverted and wicked act. The judge said this was a remarkable case that involved some of the most impertinent and ridiculous defences he'd ever heard in court. He went on to say that honour killings would not be tolerated and would be punished and handed down life sentences with minimum terms ranging from 19 to 28 years. Although these men will remain in prison for a long time, no sentence that the court can impose can ever compensate Mr. and Mrs. Mohammed's family for their loss. Abdullah and Aisha were deeply loved by their family and friends and respected by all who knew them. And the fact that they were killed in such senseless circumstances makes this a particularly tragic case. The four men start their long sentences today for a crime which took two innocent lives in a grotesquely misjudged bid for honour. Fraser Maud, Sky News, Preston.